So here we go with the bait fish pattern. We'll just put the hook in there about like so. And we'll start with the jam knot with my tying thread here. Done quite right up to the eye, just a little bit back. We don't need much of a thread base because we're not going to go very far back on the hook. Okay, we're going to start with a little fairly thin clump of white mirror image. I'm going to trim that one third, two thirds, about like so. And we're going to set aside the one third chunk. Now the two thirds piece, we're going to just tease that out a little bit so we get a nice tapered effect. Like so, and like so. All right, we're going to put the slightly shorter chunk on the bottom, like that. Wrap that in, and we'll bring this one over top and tie that in. Okay, next step is three or four strands of crystal flash, like that. And we're just going to tie that in. Oh, I've got lots this time. Tie that in for a kind of a midline, lateral line. Okay. Like that. Next, I'm going to take a clump of the brown mirror image. Again, fairly sparse, about the same size as the white. Do that into a one third, two thirds. Set aside the one third for a second. Tease out the ends. This time we're going to put that on about the same length as the white. And we're going to take some tan midge flash and put about three strands, just a tiny, tiny little bit of flash. We want a very subtle effect here. We don't want this to be a bright looking fly. We want it to be kind of sub subtle and natural looking. So, all right, I'm going to take about three more strands, put that on top, and that'll go in with the next layer of the mirror image. So, like so. Tip that over, we'll take the one third chunk, we're going to tease it out so it's all kind of tapered and not paintbrushy at all, but more streamlined looking. And we're going to tie that in like this. Back over, tie that in like so. Now, bring that back over. Okay, we have our chunk of brown, same as the white. Tease that out a little bit as well. And the same thing there. We're going to tie that in like so. Okay, and there we're about done with our brown, sort of with our tying thread. We're going to whip finish that and we'll put that away. Okay, and we'll put up our monofilament thread. And start a bit of a jam knot there. Okay, now for a wing topping I kind of like something a little bit brighter than the tan. So I've been using um, either root beer, which this is, or peacock colored Midge flash for this. I'm just gonna tease that out just a tiny bit and we'll just tie that up on top. Oh, about like so. Grab, bring the thread up on top, pull that over. Okay, and then the last step before we finish off here is a couple of eyes. Put the eyes on like so. Now they don't stick all that well, so if we wrap a couple wraps of monofilament thread over top, then they will stay put until the epoxy is on. And once the epoxy is on, the thread is invisible, you can't see it anymore. So there we go, just clip that, and there's the bait fish fly.